from that. Hello everyone and in this video we'll be we'll be having a look at the NBC News app on my Chromebook now the NBC News app is quite American in the fact that it's mainly heard of in the American countries so but I thought we would have a look at the app just out of interest for those of you who want a variety of news sources okay so let us get started before we continue subscribe to my channel and like our page which is now called tech alert as opposed to know your chromebook however it still has the it still has the uh, know your chromebook username being as the link is in other video descriptions and changing the username will change the link which will therefore make the previous links unvalid so I will be keeping the know your chromebook username but the tech alert name so again that is that so you've got the coronavirus here one thing that we do look for when we test an app on a 14 inch Chromebook like this is whether the app uses the full screen or not and as you can probably see it uses the full screen we've just had a look at Vice News and it was on Facebook live actually so it won't be on my YouTube channel but when we open the Vice News that coronavirus was actually a whole window and you had to use the screen reader gesture to get away from that and again I don't mind having a big headline but it doesn't have to be a whole window just to get noticed now it looks as though that this app has sort of a web interface because you can probably hear China hit coronavirus. those two voices interacting and again the screen reader will mainly do that if it senses it's on a web interface or not and again when you are on a web interface and I think did we have it with the writers news or another news app that we had it on again the web interface made reading articles a little bit bothersome but again we will find that out in the later one in the video now there is, there is quite a lot of things on the coronavirus and I'm not too sure whether you can hear it spell individual letters one by one. And that can be very annoying to screen reader users. So, and this is too infected with coronavirus. Here we go, we've got some new news now. But again, that coronavirus should be in a topic it should be one story out of that topic and if you want to read more about the coronavirus you head over to that topic rather than have all the coronavirus items on that page as we've just seen on the video because we have had to swipe up quite a bit just to get away from that corona and again some people might find the news about the coronavirus a bit too much and upsetting so again for those of you who do find such things upsetting you wouldn't really want to be bombarded with as much coronavirus news too much now there are some sections at the bottom and again these sections being at the bottom of the screen in itself is a disadvantage because again if you use a Chromebook you would probably know that the launcher and notification icons are at the bottom of the screen also and if you are a fire tablet owner such as myself or a, a new phone owner you will probably know that 
there is no home buttons particularly on the fire tablet and i think tablets now are not coming with physical home buttons which i really miss to be honest because again it avoids you going to the home screen accidentally but again it would be nice if you had like a navigation drawer US. to put your Bernie sections struggle. in Selected. also these six. sections are uh, not labelled which Selected. again prevents Double screen reader users activate. from knowing what we're focusing on now that section looks as though it is a video section and it's got the video duration but let us see if there is a navigation draw at all Watch out of list. Nope. So I'm wondering whether there are any settings to this app, which are. Well. So the settings is usually at the right hand corner of the section but again because it's not labeled we're not able to to recognize that you got push notifications and you got quiet time i'm actually going to turn that off and you got disable previews uses less data and again you can decide whether the save preview activates when the battery on your device gets to a certain percentage and that is that that is all there is to settings now it would be nice if news apps did have a accessibility section where you can adjust the text size to your desire now what we're going to do is because we did talk about that web interface early on we are going to have a go at reading an article and then once we've read the article we'll be um, testing video playback let us go away from that coronavirus thing Voice of an angel, utility worker serenades nursing home resident for 94th birthday as coronavirus keeps daughter away. Right, you hoping? That Our looks more utility. positive. So, Happy birthday, pure Florida sunshine. Oh, here we go. So that article was actually a video, and again, it's a bit like BBC News, where if you're not in the video section and there is an article and there is a video article that can also appear in the all section so you don't have to be in the video section just to be on the receiving end of a video article you can be in the all news section What we're going to do is we're probably going to have to read our corona. Right, so it is a web interface. And the article probably did take a bit of a while loading. I'm not too sure whether you noticed that or not. And because of the web interface, you do get that annoying US voice, but that is mainly for screen reader users. Now, this, despite being a web interface, I personally would have thought it would be cluttered with all these links and buttons like we did get in, I'm not too sure, was it the Guardian app or whatever news app it was? But again, this is surprisingly simple. Now these links are probably references to articles in this article if that makes sense because a lot of news stories do do that. Watch 
Bernie Sanders endorsed Joe Biden for president. Let us conclude this video. In conclusion, the NBC News, I personally think is a little bit of a disappointment to be honest, because I would have thought being its popularity and being its status, the app would be more, you know, step up to the plate sort of thing. Instead, it is a mainly web interface as opposed to being its own individual app like the BBC News and the sections are not labelled and they're at the bottom of the screen. Sections as again being at the bottom of the screen means you can easily hit the home and status tray and notification icons. So again, and it's that the settings doesn't have any options to adjust the text size and, and that. But I think the main thing that disappoints me about this NBC News app is the web interface other than everything else so again that is that well i hope you found this video helpful thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos to come and we'll see you soon